Hey fragrance fans, Fangirl here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well, feeling and smelling fabulous. Today I have a fun lemon loaded video for you guys. I'm calling this the Battle of the Lemons. And what inspired me to make this video is of course the infamous guy right here, Iced Lemon Pound Cake. That is the hype candle right now. That is the one everyone is trying to find. It's all the rage online. It has been very hard to locate. Well, it finally released online on the Bath & Body Works website Friday morning. And I went to stores yesterday, which was Saturday, and they had plenty in stock. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the case, you know, going forward, because I think it's going to sell out. I think it's gonna be one of those candles that there's so much, you know, excitement around it that the store's initial shipments are gonna go pretty quick. I could be wrong, but I'm just saying, if you want this one, I would pick it up. And if you're able to get to the stores or place an online order this weekend, Bath & Body Works is running a sale, all three wick candles, $15.95. So, what you see in front of you, my little lemon layout here, also includes my haul of $15.95 candles I picked up yesterday, and I did get three, guys. I got two of the Ice Lemon Pound Cake, and then I got this one, the Sugared Lemonade. So, I'm kinda, I kind of want to just, you know, I've been buying Bath & Body Works for years and years and years. We get so many lemon scents that it's kind of confusing for, you know, the, the, the customers that aren't like BBW fanatics that are casual shoppers, they probably wonder like, what's the difference between all of these? And even those of us who are, you know, frequent and loyal shoppers, even I sometimes really don't know one from the next. I mean, there's so many repackages and there's lemon in everything in the spring and summer. So I kind of wanted to do this video just to explore these scents and see if they're similar to one another, what's the differences. And I thought that would be, you know, interesting video and maybe it could help someone, could inform someone if they're trying to make a decision, if they're buying online, you know, and they don't really know which they would prefer since we have so many. That's what I'm trying to do with this video is kind of, you know, get some clarity to the confusion on all of these lemon scents. So I'm going to rearrange here a little bit, guys, and I will be right back. Okay, so jumping right in, guys, I think what I'm going to do is go through each candle individually, read you the scent notes, give you a very quick rundown of what I think it smells like, and then we'll go into the comparison feature of the video. So starting off with our newbie here, Iced Lemon Pound Cake, the scent notes on this one are, if it will focus... Uh, sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, and whipped cream. So, Ice Lemon Pound Cake is our hype candle. I just want to show you this packaging because it is stunning. It's sort of this textured, I don't know if you guys are picking up the texture on the candle. It's got like these lines running through, almost reminds me of like a birch tree, but then it's got these gold foil butterflies and like the splatter effect in gold foil, it's it's gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. And then it's got like a bronze colored lid. Not sure if you guys can really tell that if the camera's picking it up, but very beautiful packaging. I also have this in the one wick that I picked up during the one wick sale last week. And the, mm, it's so good. Um, the one wicks were $4.95. I hope you guys were able to pick those up. I didn't do a haul because I literally only bought one because I wanted the three wick and that's what I was holding out for. So Ice Lemon Pound Cake, what does it smell like? And I'm just going to keep the one wick here open so I can smell it. Guys, this candle, is worth the hype. This is amazing. Bath & Body Works does so many lemon candles. I mean, over the years, we've had what, so many. I mean, we have the classic uh, sugar lemon zest. We've had lemonade candles. We've had 
lemon cake pop. We've had lemon tea and biscuits, um, Tuscan lemon tart, you name it. Bath and Body Works has done a ton of lemon candles. So it's kind of hard, I think, for companies to constantly reimagine a scent like lemon, but I can say with confidence that I think this is a brand new scent. I don't think this is a repackage of anything, guys. And I haven't burned it yet, which I will. As soon as I'm done recording this video, I will burn this baby. I'm so excited. And you guys will see a post burn review posted really soon. I will get that up as soon as I can because I know people are dying to get their hands on this one. And they, you know, I just want to get that information out there. So post burn review coming. But back to what I was saying, lemon is a hard scent to reimagine. But I think they did it here. This is nothing like I've ever smelled from Bath & Body Works. And even without burning, I'm telling you guys, on cold sniff, this is probably my favorite lemon candle of all time. And I know that is a big statement to make, but if this smells like burning like it does on cold, then I'm confident in saying that. This is bakery lemon. It is amazing. So what does it smell like? To me, and I'll do a more comprehensive review after the post burn review, but to me, this is, you get the lemon, but it's not super tart, but it's also not super sweet. It's a really soft lemon, if that makes sense. And you get the bakery, the bakery, oh, it's amazing. I'm gonna tell you guys what the first thought that popped in my head when I very first smelled this, but don't take it to heart as exact. But when I first smelled it, I thought of the sprinkled birthday cake without the sprinkles and without the vanilla. So think of that moist cake note, like that white, spongy, soft cake note, and then add a sugary, zesty lemon glaze to it. That's the first thing that came to mind. Now, when I think of a pound cake, I could be wrong, but I think of it like, I don't wanna say hard, it's not like a, a cookie or something, It's it's a more dense, drier cake, you know, kind of like a bunt cake, a pound cake. It's really dense. I don't get that with this. I get more of a spongy, soft, I know everyone hates this word, but like just a moist cake, a soft, mm, it smells wonderful. It's decadent, it really is. It's a soft cake with that super sugary, zesty lemon icing, and it's heaven. Guys, if you like lemon, pick this one up. If you are sensitive to lemon, but you want to try a candle that's not smack you in the face, lemon, pick this one up. It is bakery lemon, so it's not as harsh as some lemons. I actually would say the lemon is pretty subtle. Don't get me wrong, you get the lemon, but it's not super sour, it's not super tart. It's soft, it's just that sweet, fragrant, sugary, mm, citrusy lemon wrapped in this beautiful bakery scent. I'm picturing like what is the um, what is the the lemon loaf at Starbucks? You know how it's that really soft suit falls apart in your hand. It's so soft and moist lemon loaf cake with that thick icing on the top. That's what this reminds me of. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. If you're a bakery gourmet lover, you're going to just go crazy over this one. It's fantastic, guys. And I've went on enough about lip ice lemon pound cake. I think you know from my fangirling right now that this is a good one. So I would highly recommend it. Moving on to lemon cake pop. Now, this is last year's packaging. Um, the current year's packaging, I'll put a screenshot up. I didn't pick it up in this year's packaging, guys, because I have so many of these in backup. 
but lemon cake pop scent notes are frosted citrus glaze, vanilla cake pop, and sugar crystals. And last year's packaging was just, it's beautiful. It's got that holographic label, came out with the Bake Shop collection. Lemon cake pop is also a great scent. Now, I have a person in my household who does not like lemon, does not like lemon scents. So this one was always good for me because it's lighter and usually I want a punch you in the face candle, but for, for me, for this specific scent, lemon, this works for me because I can burn it and it doesn't really offend said person. But it is a lighter scent and there is a little bit of a marketing confusion thing going on here, guys. Lemon cake pop is not cake. There's no bakery note in this. It's not lemon cake. It's not lemon cake pop. It's not muffin cookie, none of that. There's no bakery note here. Lemon cake pop, to me, is lemon and vanilla. As simple as that sounds. The lemon is sweet. It's not too tart. It's creamy. It's, I wouldn't say sugary. It's really rounded out with that vanilla. It's lemon and vanilla. So I wouldn't call it a foodie candle per se. I guess maybe it could be a pudding, but even that, that stretching. This is just a really pretty, creamy lemon vanilla scent. When I smell this, it reminds me of one of my favorite body care scents of all time, and that was the lemon vanilla from the Summer Vanillas many, many, many years ago. If any of you remember that, this scent smells like a dupe of that body care to me. And if I were gonna compare it to anything that you guys might be familiar with right now, maybe like a lemon starburst, but not, not as candy. Like, it definitely has a lemon starburst feel, but it doesn't smell as sugary sweet as a candy. It's just a really creamy lemon, lemon and vanilla. And that's lemon cake pop. So next, oh, and just so you guys know, uh, London Tea and Biscuits. This is a repackage of London Tea and Biscuits. If you had that from Bath and Body Works, same scent, repackage. So now moving on to the OG Sugared Lemon Zest. Everyone knows what this smells like. The scent notes on this one are Sem Saran Sorrento Lemons, sorry, Bright Lemon Zest, and Sugar Cane. And I'm gonna take the lid off, guys. We all know what this smells like. Sugared Lemon Zest has been around for years and years and years. Mm. So, if you want a tart, zesty, big lemon, punch that's this one sugared lemon zest is so fresh so citrusy it's tart it's sweet this is summertime in a jar it's beautiful sugared lemon zest is i use it as a odor eliminator i usually keep one in the kitchen i don't have it in a three wick right now guys that's why i only have the one wick here to show you but I don't really keep this scent around in three wicks because I usually only burn a one wick because it's a powerhouse. And like I said, I have a non-lemon lover in the house. So I don't really burn this one in a three wick. It is a room filler. It'll knock your socks off. And it's a wonderful, fresh, lovely lemon scent. If you burn it in the kitchen, it'll get rid of kitchen smells. You can put it in the bathroom. It's a really fresh scent. Sugar Lemon Zest smells like the, so when you take a lemon and you zest the outside, the yellow part of it, the oils in the, in the peel of the lemon just release this blast of lemon fragrance. And the lemon zest to me smells sweeter than the lemon juice. The lemon juice smells really sour. This is definitely the zest. So you just get that tart, zesty, zingy, fresh zest of the lemon peel with heaps of sugar. That's what this smells like. 
Think of the shake em ups at the county fairs, like where they just put the ice and a ton of sugar in a glass and then they put the lemon. That's kind of what this gives me the vibes of, but with more of the zest. It's a lemon zest and a ton of sugar. And it's so good guys. So it also kind of reminds me of, again, I'm gonna say candy, but it's not sugary sweet candy kind of like a lemon head. If I were gonna compare it to a candy, lemon head. But it's so much more fresh than that. It's not an artificial sweetness. It's, it's lemon zest and sugar. So I'm gonna leave it at that because that's what it is. Okay. Last up in this lineup, we have sugared lemonade. And in case I didn't say it already, guys, these are the current lemons like straight lemon candles that you can get in stores right now. Now there's tons of lemon scents that have come and gone that you might be able to find on Macari, eBay, whatever, but it's, these are the straight lemon scents that are in stores right now. And that's why I'm going over these four. Now there are more lemon scents in stores, but they're more conceptual. They're not straight lemon. Like there's a, a lemon waves or something. It's kind of like a beachy lemon. There's a, there's the pink lemonade, which is lemonade with strawberry. That one is a beautiful scent. There's the um, watermelon lemonade, which we all know. It's a lemonade with watermelon. So there's other citrus and lemon scents in stores right now, but these are the only four that are, you know, the most lemon forward or lemon prominent. So again, Sorry, I like to ramble. I hope you guys are still hanging out with me and you love talking about this stuff too. On to sugared lemonade. Now, when this popped up on the website, I did not remember ever burning this candle. I know we've had lemonade scents before, but I didn't specifically remember sugared lemonade. And I was wondering, well, what's the difference between that and sugared lemon zest? I picked it up guys, I saw it, the packaging sold me. I'm a sucker for it. The beautiful flowers on there and the butterflies, so pretty. It's got that country springtime feel and that lid is gorgeous. So I picked it up, I didn't really give it much of a smell. Once I got it home and really like dove in, sniffing this one, I do remember it. I had this it was either last year or the year before, and it was in a white jar, and it was like those watercolor designs that we had. And guys, I did not like it. And I didn't remember having it until I got this one home, and now I, I, regret, <laughs> I regret picking it up. But you know, maybe not, because I did want to go over the, and review these and compare these for you guys. Scent notes on sugared lemonade are fresh lemon juice, sugar crystals, and crushed ice. And while we're here, what does crushed ice smell like? I always thought they kind of use that as a scent note to kind of give a cooling effect, like if something was supposed to be cold, but still, what does crushed ice smell like? You guys let me know. But that fresh lemon juice, yeah, they're right on that. This is not lemon zest, guys. This is not candy lemon. This is le sour lemon juice. And I'm gonna grab this lid. By the way, packaging, it got me, sold me. Look at this. This is gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. And the lid is really pretty too. So, oh guys, I wanna start off by saying, I know I put this disclaimer out there often. If I do not like a scent, but you do, I please don't take offense, everyone, interpret scents differently. Everyone smells things differently. If you love sugared lemonade, I'm so happy that you have a scent that you enjoy. But for me, this is not good, guys. Oh, so to me and my nose, sugared lemonade smells like sour lemon juice. I'm not talking about the zesty, zingy lemon zest. I'm not talking about a sugary lemonade, which you would think sugared lemonade, this would be a really sweet scent. It's not, it's sour. To me, it, it's tart. It's almost, ugh. 
I can't burn this one, guys. The one I had last year, I burned it a little and it was too much for me. I mean, it was headache inducing. It was so sour. And I'm just going to let you guys know, to be honest, I'm not going to burn this. This will go back to the store and I will exchange it for something else because I have burned this one in the past and it was not a pleasant experience for me. But I need to try to explain what this smells like to you guys. So lemon juice, sour lemon juice. And like maybe the white part of the peel, it's very sour and just a hint of sweetness. I wouldn't even call it a hint. It's almost, the sweetness is almost non existent, but there's this off putting note in here, guys. It is astringent, it is chemical. And after burning it last year and then smelling it on cold again, I'm reminded of what this smells like to me. And I'm going to just show you guys because I know what this smells like because I use it. And that is Lemon Pledge. Now I'm not saying that Lemon Pledge is a bad scent, but it is a cleaning scent. It is a astringent, you know, harsh cleaning chemical scent. That's fine if I'm cleaning my house and you know, it goes away, but I don't want a candle that smells like that. I don't want a candle that smells like chemicals. And to me, sugared lemonade is what everyone is nervous about when they buy lemon candles. I think everyone has had an experience where they buy a lemon candle and it smells like pine salt or it smells like lemon cleaner. And that's why we're a little bit hesitant when it comes to lemon scents. And that's what the sugared lemonade is to me. Unfortunately, guys, it's, it's chemical. It's too sour. It's not sweet enough for me. I, I mean, they would have to just add tons and tons of more sweetness to this for me to even, I don't know, get past that artificial chemical smell. So again, if you're burning this one, guys, and you love it, I'm so happy for you. I'm glad you have sensed fragrance is just makes me so happy. And I, if you are experiencing joy, then I, then I am happy for you. But for me and my interpretation and my nose, this is a no, this is a chemical, um, artificial sour, sour lemon. And I am not happy with it and I will not be burning it. So that one will be going back. So in conclusion of these lemon scents that are currently in stores right now, what are they, are, what is closest to what, I guess I should say, and what should I suggest you pick up? Well, you already know I'm not suggesting this one. Now, if you want your house to smell like lemon pledge, like lemon cleaner, maybe you will love that one. Um, it's just not for me. So back to the ice lemon pound cake. This is my number one choice, guys. This is a bakery scent. This is a bakery lemon scent. It is extraordinary. It is a beautiful scent. So if you have lemon cake pop, do you need ice lemon pound cake? I know we don't need anything, but I would say between these two, which would be the two bakery lemons, They're not the same, absolutely not the same. Which one would you prefer? This one is simple. This has a bakery note. Ice lemon pound cake smells like a, exactly what it says, a lemon cake. It's not necessarily a pound cake. To me, it's, it's a softer, more moist, sweeter cake. But basically, this is a lemon dessert with that sugary, glaze oh my gosh you guys i make a a soft lemon cookie at christmas time and the glaze that i put on top of it is just confectioner sugar with a lemon zest and then you thin it with and you add milk i could eat it with a spoon it's so delicious but that's what this puts me in the mind of it's a lemon dessert with a sugary zesty lemon glaze and it's fantastic but this is definitely a foodie gourmand bakery scent. Lemon cake pop is not. So if you're looking for bakery, 
you're looking for a lemon dessert, go with iced lemon pound cake. If you are not a bakery fan, but you want a really sweet lemon, go with lemon cake pop. Lemon cake pop is simply lemon and vanilla. There's no cake in here, guys. So if you're not a gourmet lover, if you're not exactly like a foodie person, but you want a super sweet lemon, go with lemon cake pop. It's creamy, it's sweet, it is lemon, but it's not as tart. It's a beautiful blend of lemon and vanilla. The only thing I would say about lemon cake pop is it's not a very strong throw, which some people would prefer. So between the two, gourmand lovers go for this one. Someone just wanting sweet lemon, but they don't wanna go like lemon zest route, you know, like the stronger, more tart, zesty lemon, go with lemon cake pop. So between those two, um, guys, I'm going for the iced lemon pound cake, but they're different. So if you desire a bakery scent, you're gonna lean more towards the iced lemon pound cake. If you just want a sweet lemon zest, like a fresh, fun, creamy lemon for the springtime, spring, summer, you're gonna go for this one. So we're moving on to the more, what I'd call like the zesty candles, the more accurate lemon scents. Sugared lemon zest, some people say, is the goat of lemon scents. And I'm gonna compare these two guys. Okay, I, I, I already know what sugared lemon zest smells like. We've had it forever. It's ingrained in my memory. Between these two, obviously I'm gonna tell you guys to go with the sugared lemon zest. It's bright lemons, it's zesty, it's, it's, it's tart, but it's also sweet. It's that zest of a fresh lemon in springtime with a heap of sugar and it's tangy and it's so bright and beautiful. Very nice scent. So I would go more zesty here, like the zest of the lemon. And in this one, the sugared lemonade is the juice of the lemon. So the sugared lemonade is sour. So if you're looking for a lemon pledge, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. If you're looking for lemon juice, go for the sugared lemonade. It is not that sugary to me. I know the name is kind of deceiving because it says sugared lemonade. You would think that this, this would be sweeter than this, but to me and my nose, this is lemon juice. This is lemon zest. This is sweeter. The sugared lemon zest is sweeter than the sugared lemonade. So it's all about personal preference. If you're blind buying online, um, I'm a little nervous to tell you guys to go for either of these because I think that because they are stronger lemons, whereas these two are easy, you know, on the on the palate, I guess. I know we're not eating these, but these are easier to take, whereas these are more zesty and zingy. To be safe, guys, if you're blind buying online and you haven't had, if you haven't experienced these candles, and you want a more zesty tart lemon, go with the sugared lemon zest. It's tried and true. It's, a, you know, it's been there for years and years for a reason. It's an OG. It's basically a ton of sugar with that bright zest of a lemon peel. It's really good. The sugared lemonade, oh, it's sour, guys. It's tart. It's a tart lemon. It's sour. It's lemon juice to me with just a touch of sweetness. Um, but it also has like an off-putting chemical note. Maybe you don't pick that up. When you smell it, maybe you don't pick up that, you know, that chemical smell and you just get the, the lemon juice. And if that's what you're looking for, maybe you'll really enjoy this candle. But those are my thoughts, guys. Um, I'm just gonna keep shouting out Ice Lemon Pound Cake for the win. This is definitely my favorite of this bunch here and it really is probably gonna end up being my favorite lemon candle of all time. I will do a post burn review on that as soon as I get it going and I'll get that up for you guys real soon. But for now, I think that's it. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that you found it informative. 
I hope I was able to shed a little light on all of our lemon scents here, and maybe you can make a more informed purchasing decision if you're going for one of these. My number one pick is this one, and yeah, I hope you guys get something you love and you really enjoy. Lemon is so fun for spring, and it's just such a refreshing, bright scent. It's, it's, it's really great going into the warmer months. So anyway, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're, you know, if you're interested in this kind of content, hauls, reviews, post burn reviews, body care, fragrance, anything fragrance, please subscribe and join me over here for some fragrance fun. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys and I want to continue to do this. It's been really exciting and I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm having a lot of fun. So if you guys want to join me over here, I'll have some more videos up for you real soon. Have a great day, night, week. Whenever you guys watch this, have a good one and talk to you guys soon. Bye.